recently. Hopefully, it is now extremely obvious that Europe should restart dormant nuclear power stations and increase power output of existing ones. This is critical to national and international security. Good for him, right? And then he says, for those who mistakenly think this is a radiation risk, pick what you think is the worst location. I will travel there and eat local food on TV. I did this in Japan many years ago, shortly after Fukushima. Fukushima. Radiation risk is much, much lower than most people believe. Again, science. He goes by the science. Good for him. We know the story of the uh, Starlink. The Ukrainians said, hey, you want to go to Mars, you want to do this, but what about sending us some Starlink uh, so we can, we can get some internet here in Ukraine? Within 10 hours, they were being shipped over. Elon Musk came on Twitter, said, they're on their way, you're going to get them. Next day, they got them. Uh, they've, they've made them work now. And of course, in addition to that, he refuses to uh, control what is being delivered over Starlink. So he says, Starlink has been told by some governments, not Ukraine, to block Russian news sources. We will not do so unless at gunpoint. Sorry to be a free speech absolutist. Good for him. Um, then he writes, hold strong, Ukraine. And also my sympathies to the great people of Russia who do not want this. Nice. Hate to say it, but we need to increase oil and gas output immediately. Extraordinary times demand extraordinary measures. Now, we need to increase oil and gas always, not just immediately. This is where we disagree, right? But he's not inflexible. Um, and then he says, obviously, this would negatively affect Tesla. But sustainable energy solutions simply cannot react instantaneously to make up for Russian oil and gas exports. Then he writes, important warning, Starlink is the only non-Russian communication system still working in some parts of Ukraine. So probability of being targeted is high. Please use with caution. So I guess people who are using Starlink receivers could get bombed. Here's a good one. I like this one. Why is the traditional media such a re relentless hate stream? Real question. Most news outlets attempt to answer the question, what are the worst things happening on Earth today? It's a big planet. Obviously, some bad things are happening somewhere at any given time. But focusing relentlessly on those does not give an accurate picture of reality. Good for Musk. If you scare people enough, they will demand removal of freedom. That is the path to tyranny. Absolutely. Let's see. Yeah, we'll make this the last one. We should be much more worried about population collapse than population growth. UN projections are utter nonsense. Just to multiply last year's births by life expectancy, given downward trend in birth rate, that is best case unless reversed. If there aren't enough people for Earth, then it definitely won't be enough for Mars. I think these tweets give you a, a bit of a sense of, as I said, the kind of the, 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 um, the sense of life, the spirit that Elon Musk represents, which I think is, is all positive. I'll just remind you of a couple of other things. There was, um, there was during COVID, if you remember, uh, when uh, the state of California wanted him to shut down a Tesla plant in California because of COVID. He said they would have to come and arrest him and his workers. He was not shutting it down. He was making it optional for his workers to come, but he was not going to shut down. All his workers showed up, uh, and it, this plant was never shut down. Never shut down. They made exceptions for it. They, they concluded it was essential services, and they kept it open. I love the one where people asked him, well, well how are we going to regulate the internet of Starlink? When it's, he says, well, you'll shake your fist at it, right? I mean, that was a beautiful, again, expression of that spirit of, we're going to get it done. We're not going to let anybody stop it. And all the regulators can do about it is shake their fists because they don't have any power over me. They don't have any power over the creator, the producer, the maker. Elon is an amazing person, I think, an amazing entrepreneur, an amazing business person. Uh, he is uh, an amazing idea you know, producer, 
one of the clips I saw him, he was asked about, you know, what's going on in his head constantly. He says, constantly, it's like fireworks, explosions going off. It's constantly thinking, constantly new ideas. You know, he, he, you know his boring machine thing was something he drew on a, his hyperlink or whatever was something he, he drew on a napkin, basically. It's ideas that come. Most of them, I guess, never see the light of day. Some of them see some engineering drawings. Some of them actually become companies. But he is a real exciting producer. Producer. And in a world of people who are dull, people who are boring, people who are conventional, people who just play by the book, Elon Musk is a brush, a brush, a breath of fresh air. He is uh, truly amazing and an inspiration, and I am all in on the Elon Musk fan club. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real fan now. Um, I've become one over the last couple of years. Um, I, we need a lot more Elon Musks in the world. Uh, he's not perfect. Uh, he doesn't get everything right. But he has the attitude. The attitude that changes the world. The attitude that brings revolution. And it's the attitude I wish millions had. He is the kind of person you want to go along for the ride with. Not many people like that. There are a lot of dreamers. There are a lot of dreamers. There are a lot of fantasizers. There are a lot of people who think big thoughts. How many people execute? How many people make it a reality? How many people make it real? Live it? I just, I hope in his personal life, he, he's happy. I hope in his personal life, he, he, he is as fulfilled as he seems to be in his business life. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.